Good morning, everyone. Bienvenidos todos. Here again, sharing the spoken written word of my God. And I think it'll bring a good thing to our heart. When I reach the end of what the scripture that I'm sharing, for anyone that is struggling from trying to remove something unclean, unrighteous, an addiction out of their lives. But through scripture, Abba Father speaks and he speaks clearly, loves, of his power. If we seek the power through him to erase, to remove, to take away all this uncleanness, unrighteousness, these addictions that are bringing us down or anxiety or bitterness, whatever it is that is negative, that is not right in the eyes of our God through scripture, loves. This scripture will bring to light that Abba Father has the power through his son Jesus to fulfill his word. So I share today, loves, heed the word, open up the scripture, study it yourself, break it down. The Holy Spirit will bring it to light of how to fulfill it in our lives, loves. So I'm here again to share all glory to you, Lord Father, for your word speaks truth. It, it brings light into our lives it makes it clear what we should be doing to remove all this wickedness out of our lives that this world has we've allowed this world to convince us that it's okay lord father i know i say this often but it is what i see it is where i used to be but father i seek you i i, I cling to you and yes, sometimes this world will attack me as well. And I need my brothers and sisters to heed your word, Father, through your son, Jesus, that there's power here. The world, the wickedness of this world speaks aloud and it screams into our lives, Father. We need to heed, wait for you, or you will bring your word to light and life into our lives father so i give you all glory in the name of your son jesus i share loves and i will be reading out of my the lap give me out of the laptop this is key loves the title the renewal of israel everyone needs to understand that israel is within one we're Israel in the eyes of our God. We are. That's why we're called his people. So here Ezekiel hears, hears from the voice of our God. Moreover, the word of the Lord came to me, saying, Son of man, when the house of Israel dwelt in their own land, they defiled it by their own ways and deeds. To me, their way was like the uncleanness of a woman in their customary impurity. It, it is a woman's monthly. It is what Abba Father stating how filthy this uncleanness is. What does it mean? Moreover, the word of the Lord came to me saying, Son of man, when the house of Israel dwelt in their own land, when one human dwells in their own way, in their addiction, in their unrighteous path, in their uncleanness, it is what Abba Father stating, not in a particular land, but where they're at in their life. He's stating it. They defiled it by their own ways and deeds. It's a defilement, loves, heed the word. We've all been there, but when we are renewed 
in Christ Jesus loves heed the word there's something that happens in our lives and when I read this the the tell in of it I go oh my gosh my brothers and sisters need to hear this this is the power of our God if we turn to him so here he's telling he's telling us when we're dealing we're, we're dwelling in our own ways and deeds in the eyes of our God it is that uncleanness he sees to where to him it's like a a customary impurity of a monthly of a woman that that's that's who wants to be there if we as women don't want that heat the word loves 18 therefore I poured out my fury on them for the blood they had shed on the land and of their idols with which they had defiled it. Heed the word when the word is being spoken to us now, loves, in our days. We're idolizing the addiction, the impurity, the unrighteousness, the uncleanness of whatever it is. Perversion, pornography, addiction, and, and whatever the addiction is. Loves. Therefore, Abba Father poured out his fury. It means his grace is removed out of our lives and all this unrighteousness, uncleanness, wickedness falls upon us, loves. Because we're choosing to stay there. But heed the word. 19. So I scattered them among the nations and they were dispersed throughout the countries. I judge them accordingly to their ways and their deeds. He judged us, loves. When they came to the nations, whenever they went, they profaned my holy name. We profaned it because we, we know what scripture states to walk this righteous path. But we proclaim, many of us proclaim the name of Jesus. We proclaim that we know Abba Father, yet we live this lifestyle that we should not be living. That in, in the eyes of God, it is like a customary impurity of a, of a woman, a monthly customary impurity of a woman. That's what he sees. So he scattered us, meaning he, he took his grace off of us and he, he left us in that filth. He cannot be there, loves. Heed the word. Why do we want to be in a place where Abba Father is not there? The grace, his, his mercy, his judgment. Because his judgment, heed the word. When Abba Father's judgment is in our lives, it keeps us in that righteous path because it, it brings it into memory we cannot go there we cannot do this that's what judgment means we remember verse 20 when they came to the nations wherever they went they profaned my holy name when they when they said to them these are the people of the Lord and yet they have gone out of his hand but I had concern for my holy name, which the house of Israel had profaned among the nations where they went. Heed the word, verse 20 and 21. Again, as I stated just a few minutes ago, how can we proclaim the holy name of our God and still live that uncleanness, unrighteous path? In living when he states here you profane my name how can you say that you believe in my holy name and you're living a a customary impurity way of living in the eyes of God how, how can you do that it's what he's stating there are the, these are the people of the Lord because we proclaim it and yet they have gone out of the out of his land out of his grace out of his holiness loves but I had concern for my holy name. It's his reputation. 
is one thing that I, I tend to cling to is my name. Who I represent now as a renewed woman in Christ Jesus. I care what people think of me because I represent. I remember telling a brother, I go, we represent. Now we represent our God. We're marked with his name, as scripture states. So here, verse 21, but I had concerns for my holy name, which the house of Israel had profaned among the nations wherever they went. We've made it seem to the world that it's okay to live this unrighteous, unclean life. Yet we, we, we proclaim his holy name. No loves. We can't do that. We've just, we've just made God a liar. We cannot live that lifestyle. Verse 22. Therefore says, Therefore say to the house of Israel, This is what Abba Father is stating to tell all of us. Thus says the Lord God, I do not do this for your sake. He doesn't do this for our sake, O house of Israel, but for my holy name's sake, which you have profaned among the nations wherever you went. That he's judged it. He's not judged it because we're, we're in this uncleanness, unrighteous path. He does it because we're proclaiming his name. He's doing it for his reputation, for his holy name. Therefore, say to the house of Israel, I do not do this for our sake. He doesn't do it for us, O house of Israel, but for my holy Abba Father's name, which you have profaned wherever you went. And I will sanctify my great name. He will make his name holy. This is where we need to heed loves. Which has been profaned among the nations. Which you have profaned in their midst. And the nations shall know that I am the Lord. Says the Lord God. When I am hallowed in you before their eyes. Heed the word. There's one that renews. He renews us. From that unrighteous path, not because of us, loves, but because of his holy name. Heed the word, but because of his holy name. He's saying, you're my people. How can I leave you there? I'm not healing you. I am not taking you out of there. I'm not judging you for your unrighteous path. I'm judging you because of my name. Because I have proclaimed I am your God. This is what Abba Father is stating. And how great is that blessing in our lives that he will not allow Satan to keep us there or the wickedness of this world. Loves, it is a blessing in our lives. Again, this is Ezekiel 36 verses 16 through 36. They're true blessings of what Abba Father's grace does in our lives. I'll read 23. And I will sanctify my great name, which has been profaned among the nations, which you have profaned in their midst, in the midst of unbelievers. And the nations shall know that I am the Lord, says the Lord God, when I am hallowed. In you before their eyes. For I will take you from among the nations. Gather you out of all the countries. And bring you into your own land. Then I will sprinkle clean water on you. And you shall be clean. I will cleanse you from all your filthiness. And from all your idols. This is through the grace of our God, through his mercy, through his judgments, through the only begotten son, Jesus, Yahshua, our Lord and Savior, that he will sprinkle clean water on us and remove all filthiness. It is only then, loves, then and only then can this be removed. 
Keep the spoken written word of our God. I will give you a new heart and put a new spirit within you. I will take the heart of stone out of your flesh and give you a heart of flesh, a softened holy heart loves to where we, we will choose to obey our God, to live that righteous path, to follow his only begotten son. I will put my spirit within you and cause you to walk in my statutes and you will keep my judgments and do them. That is the grace and holy name of our God loves Heed the word. It, it is a verse we want. Abba Father states, I will put my spirit, his spirit within you and cause you to walk in my statue. This is how people stay in that righteous path and they don't go back into the filthiness of this world or the wickedness or the evil ways of it because Abba Father has already placed his spirit among that human is why we stay focused in Lord Jesus. No matter what demons are flying around us, we stay focused. Why? Because Abba Father states, I place my spirit within you and cause you to walk in my statutes and you will keep my judgments and do them. Then you shall dwell in the land that I gave your fathers. Peace, loves. You shall be my people and I shall be your God. Verse 29, I will deliver you from all your uncleanness and I will call, I will call for the grain and multiply it. He will call heaven to come and bless his loves and bring no famine upon you. And I will multiply the fruit of your trees and the increase of your fields so that you need never again bear the reproach of famine among the nations. Heed the word loves of our God, the blessings that come. We no longer want to eat from this world. We want to be here in the presence and the righteous statues and judgments of our God because his spirit dwells within us. And we will no longer be reproached of famine among the nations. Then you will remember, heed, then you will remember your evil ways and your deeds that were not good. And you will loathe yourselves in your own sight for your iniquities and your abominations. When we see these blessings, and, and, and we're finally rid of these addictions of all unfilthiness in the eyes of our God. And, and the world tries to deter us away and take us there. We'll remember, oh my gosh, I, no. I remember that un, uncleanness, that abomination. I don't want to go there. This is the spoken written word of our God. Verse 32, not for your sake do I do this. Abba Father states, says the Lord God, let it be known to you. Let it be known to us. Be ashamed and confounded for your own ways, O house of Israel. Let me read verse 32 again. Not for your sake do I do this, says the Lord our God. Let it be known to you. Be ashamed and confounded for your own ways, O house of Israel. He's telling us, be ashamed. He's not doing it to remind us of this, this unrighteous path. He does it because of his name. It's like when we as parents, son, daughter, what are you doing? You're my son. Why are you acting that way? Daughter, why are you? I'm your mother. Why are you acting that way? I did not bring you up that way. This is what Abba Father stating. We as parents don't want our children to be walking in this unrighteous path because it looks, it makes us as parents look bad. How more so our God loves. This is our almighty God, our Abba Father God. This is the God of Israel the God and Abba Father of our Lord Jesus. How more so do we, do we represent his name in this righteous way? 
allow the world to do what it wants. We stay here in the spoken word for his spirit dwells within us. Loves. Verse 33. Thus says the Lord God on that day that I cleanse you from all your iniquities. Heed the word loves. I will also enable you to dwell in the cities and the ruins shall be rebuilt. The desolate land shall be tilled instead of lying desolate in the sight of all who pass by. Our bodies, when we're in this addiction, in this unrighteous path, everyone can see that person is unclean. We can see that we're not in that right path. When people see us, oh, look, they're addicted to this. Oh, look at their foul language. Oh, look at their way of living. It is seen with all. So God says, thus says the Lord God, on the day that I cleanse you from all your iniquities, I will also enable you to dwell in the cities and the ruins shall be rebuilt. We will be rebuilt. We will, our bodies, our lives will be renewed in Abba Father. So he says, the desolate land shall be tilled instead of lying desolate in the sight of all who pass by. Then they'll see, oh my gosh, look at Sylvia's life. Look at sister, look at brother's life. They're no longer desolate. They're no longer in the addiction. They're no longer speaking foul language or perversion or looking into pornography or whatever the addiction was. Abba Father cleansed us. He says there on the day that I cleanse you from all your iniquities, iniquities, he will enable us. He will give us the power to renew our lives. All glory to our Abba Father. God loves the power. The power, mighty power of our God to cleanse us of that unrighteous path. 35, so they will say, wow, this land that was desolate and ruined cities are now fortified and inhabited. Read it now, loves. People will say, wow, 35, so they will say, people will see us, wow. They're no longer in that addiction. He, he, what, what, how the word of God states what people will see when we're renewed. So they will say this land that was desolate has become like the garden of Eden. Garden of Eden loves. And the wasted, desolate and ruined cities are now fortified and inhabitant now they know life dwells within that one that was renewed through christ jesus for the glory and name of our god then the nations which are left all around you shall know that i i am the lord have rebuilt he renewed our lives the ruined places and plant it that was desolate. I, the Lord, have spoken it, loves. And he states, I will do it. He will, loves, renew our lives. Again, this is a powerful study for all of us that are trying to renew our lives and, and remove all unfilthiness out of our lives and Un this unrighteous path of addictions or, or, or whatever it is, anxiety, bitterness, unforgiveness, anger. It, it's, it's a multitude of things that we want to remove out of our lives. Loves heed the word 33. Thus says God, on that day that I cleanse you from all your iniquities, I will also enable you to get rid of it. He will renew his loves. As it states, 35, so they will say, people will see this land. It's no longer the way it was before. It has become renewed. The word of God says, like the Garden of Eden, paradise. We're happy. We're, we're no longer in that addiction. It, it, we're renewed. 
This is the glory. He does it for his name. And if it's at the last verse, then the nations, everyone will say, these are left all around you. Shall Everyone that's around us shall know that I, that our God, our God has rebuilt this ruined person and planted it, planted himself within us. And Abba Father states, and I, the Lord, have spoken it, and he will do it. It shall be done. This is what I was trying to find. If Abba states, he, he states it, he states it, it will be done. He states it right here. I, the Lord, have spoken it, and I will do it. That is power in the spoken mighty name. Of our God through his son. I the Lord have spoken it. And it will be done. All glory to you Lord Father. You brought light it, through your scripture. For all my brothers and sisters. And for me your daughter Sylvia Jane Gomez. Lord Father and I thank you that you led me to the scripture. And brought it back. Brought it back to light with greater majesty to your name lord father for it is you who we represent it is your name that is written on our foreheads as your spoken word states in revelation lord father give us the strength as we continue this journey lord father that we remember that we represent you when Satan through this wicked world tries to make us go a different route, let us remember that we bear your name and we stand firm and we say no to un all the wickedness, unrighteous ways of the world, Father. And we can only do it through you. As your word states here that you are the Lord, our God, and you have spoken it, Lord, Father. And you will do it. We proclaim that, brothers and sisters. Blessings.